This is Jamie with Bar I. In this video, we're going to show you how to do exhaustive searches when adding new items into the system so you avoid unnecessary extra work of adding items which are already in the system. And then that creates additional time or for your account manager, which would eventually will result in extra charges or simply using up um, our allocated setup time on unnecessary tasks. So let's take an example here where we're trying to add Cigar City Highlight IPA in an unusual size of a six stall. So this item is already in the map, um, but I want to use this as an example. So one of the challenges with draft beer and many other items is sometimes the barcodes either don't exist or are not recognized. So the first thing to say is barcodes are by far the best way to look items up. If an item does have a barcode, that's always the best way to look it up. And if you scan it once and you suspect um, it should be in the system because it's a common item, it's always a good idea to scan the barcode a second time just to make sure. Cloud-based software sometimes has glitches, your internet might be slow, and we've seen occasions where you scan it once, it doesn't work, and always good to do a second one. So in the situation where you're trying to add an item by name, the suggestion here is to look for a couple of different search strings. So, for instance, if I'm looking for Cigar City Highlight, if I type in Cigar City, I get some of their beers, but our mass list is not perfect in terms of naming conventions. And so, as well as looking for the name of the brewery, what I want to do is look for some other um, search strings. So, Highlight is an unusual search string, so that's a great thing to use. And you can see then that by looking for the name of the beer, not the brewery, I'm able to see that in fact we do have the can version, the half barrel keg, and the six to barrel keg. So again, when you're looking for beers or items, it's a very good idea to try and look for both the, like, the brewery and or the family name, as well as the actual name of the product. In this case, that'd be Highly. And also try a few different combinations because, you know, another example is if I look for New Belgium, Voodoo Ranger, we get some of them, but in most cases, our New Belgium beers have are marked as Keg NB. Again, I understand that's not perfect, but if we just search for Voodoo, as in search for the name of the beer rather than you then see that we've got a lot of different Voodoo ranges and probably we've got the particular size and variety you have. This is a particularly confusing beer because the number of different varieties they have. But as you can see, looking for Voodoo rather than New Belgium just yields a very different result. And so hope that's helpful to avoid extra work on your side and potentially extra time or charges on the account manager side. Thanks for watching.